Welcome back everyone. Shogun 1.8 introduces the first of a planned series of updates to our retargeting tools. Our goal for this initial implementation is to speed up the setup process for character retargets, which we've done by simplifying our user interface and automating some of the key steps involved. In this tutorial, we're going to walk through the new setup process for character retargets and in doing so, explain some of the benefits and how they differ to previous versions. With that in mind, please note that significant portions of this process are not backwards compatible and are only possible in Shogun 1.8 onwards. First, we need to import an FBX containing our skeleton target, the model that we want our performer's motions transferred onto. We're using one of the mannequins that ships with Unreal Engine, as human forms like these are among the most common that we get asked about. A follow-up tutorial with more complex characters for retargeting is planned for future release. Now, we prepare our target skeleton hierarchy first, before specifying which bone is our root. This is a good opportunity to show our new DOF table. Some of these bones we do not intend to animate, so we disable the DOFs on each of these. This is a new feature, and in previous versions of Shogun, this would all need to be done using the Attributes panel instead. Another new addition is the ability to hide inactive bones. This means that your DOF table remains uncluttered and only presents information relevant to what you're doing. We then continue to roll out this process to all bones that we don't plan on animating with our retarget. With those all sorted, we now enable map mode and click align skeleton so that the target skeleton is aligned with our source skeleton. This will sometimes happen automatically, but if, as is the case here, our target skeleton has some additional bones, a little bit of manual tweaking can be required. Once again, we're just going to hide some of the bones that we don't want to see. We are now going to set the twist on our target skeleton bones to make sure the stripe facing direction is consistent. This has been a feature in Shogun Post for some time now, and it helps users quickly review by eye that their skeleton is correct. Now let's set our elbows, knees and toes to a single DOF, so there's less risk of them bending in unintended directions. Now to get the most accurate retarget possible, we want to manually pose each bone of our retarget skeleton to be consistent with those of our source skeleton. To do this, we simply select each and rotate them accordingly. The steps we've undertaken so far are all part of the fundamental retarget setup. Now we get to explore and enjoy some of the benefits of the new automated setup features. Now let's come over to our retargeting panel next to parts and sides and click auto set. And as if by magic, all of our parts and sides have been set up for us based on bone names, something which was previously an entirely manual process. However, what happens if, for some reason, part of the skeleton has been missed? I'm using the head as an example here. We can just click the bone that's been missed, come up to the body part drop down, and select the appropriate option. Great, and next up are our constraints. If we close the target skeleton setup drop down and instead open up constraints, clicking auto create will generate all of these for us. You guessed it automatically. The table then allows us to review each of these constraints individually. With that done, our retarget is complete and we can see it in action. A step that's very important but can be easily overlooked is the adjustment of the root height. In this case, our target skeleton is taller than our actor. Adjusting the height of the root is therefore necessary to ensure that both skeletons' feet touch the floor. This offset will be maintained throughout all motion, meaning that those such as bending knees are accurate. 
After the main setup process, we select the root or pelvis and adjust its position along the vertical axis. We just need to make sure that we click Update Offsets so that this change is inherited across the skeleton. And there we have it, a complete character retarget in a matter of minutes. Now there are numerous additional tweaks you can make to further improve and optimise your character retargets, which we will be covering in later videos. If you need help with something specific or would just like to learn more about any particular element of the process, please leave us a comment below or contact our team directly via support at vicon.com. Thank you and we'll see you in the next tutorial.